Yo, Rosenberg, you know the whole Chef G Sleepy Hollow thing, right? From uh, the weekend at Summer Jam, and Sleepy Hollow sent us a letter saying he wasn't coming because he was sick. But meanwhile, Chef G couldn't come because the Nassau police wouldn't let him in the building, which is a true story because uh, nobody... Shut up, me, bro. To... Nobody wants a true story. Well, no, I'm glad you told me to shut up because people are mad at me because I work with you and you're the one that got them kicked off the show. I'm, that doesn't even make sense. Yep, that's where we're at. Making, I got. How dare you try to make sense? <sighs> People how dare have the you? Power that's not what that. the Baller Alert Shade Room headline said. That's not what the Hot ninety seven Instagram mm -hmm. said. It said Rosenberg gets. Chef G off Summer Jam. That's what it said in plain. It said if no, it said if they're not there, blame Karen <laughs> Rosenberg. That is oh, that's terrible. And they all did. That's crazy. I, nah, man. Well, no, but now no, people I'm are done. mad at I'm me because I work with you. I should I should have shut down the Jew. I shouldn't let a white guy have this much power in hip hop. <laughs> what? Bro, what? then all of a sudden we're like getting threats. I was like, yeah. what? What? Are we, on, what, real quick. what? Real quick, real quick. I just want to ask an honest question to everyone out there listening to me who who would think that about me. If you guys think I had power over Summer Jam, <laughs> you think the lineup would look like what it looks like every year? You don't think it would all be Big Wait, Daddy Kane and Jada people to have common sense? They hit me with the button earlier. They hit me right. with a congratulations, you played yourself. Because I wanted people to have common sense and say to themselves, hey, Sleepy Hollow was still on the bill. Why was he okay on the bill if Rosenberg got Chef G kicked off for supporting Trump? And why was Sexy Red still on the show? If, as a Trump supporter, if you didn't want Chef G on the show, and they are, and Shawnee and Laura was like, "Yo, you Ebro, how dare you Crazy. expect people to use their brains yeah. to add up one versus the when they, to, to put it together? You want people to add add up addition? But no, 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 no. no. This yeah, was no, spelled out for you. Right, right. It was spelled out. It, it was, was right spelled there. Out it was you. spelled out. If Chef G is not on the show, blame Karen Rosenberg. And that's what people are doing. They were told to do it. That's what they were told. Well, guys, I got news for you. If I was in charge of Summer Jam, the lineup every year would look like a Summer Jam from 1995, okay? <laughs> so it would be nothing but legendary rappers. Well, here's the thing about that. <laughs> now you can't even get Method Man and Red Man anymore because Method Man posted after Summer Jam last night, guys, it was fun, but the uh, generation gap is too large. That's not our crowd. Now, here's he was the question. not feeling the crowd, and we loved them. They were so good. But, uh, they were so good. Uh, here's the question I was going to ask because we were all standing on stage watching. Right. Did it seem like the crowd wasn't connecting with it during them? I wasn't looking at the crowd. Right. I didn't care. I didn't I right. I was so looking at it. me and Shawnee on just, stage right. doing we watching them. Steps. Yeah. We were right. watching them. I and they were know. doing their and dance steps together, and we were just <laughs> enjoying it. You, you know what it was? It felt like the crowd wasn't real, wasn't used to seeing a real show, so they were kind of like staring in amazement because it wasn't they wasn't booing or any of that. It, people were like, no. "Whoa." This is crazy. Ra they're rapping. But it, no Red Method no used vocals. to have better energy, man. Uh, yeah. Right. Although, but I tell but you we guys enjoyed the them. <laughs> Let me tell you guys the truth, though. The, the, the setup of concerts in general now, the, the, even though we're inside now, that festival setup, though, of many acts. I was at Roots Picnic on Saturday. And um, shout out to our guy, Jay Period. Jay Period and the Roots, they put together a, a hip-hop set on Saturday afternoon. Red Meth were on that, too. Yo, it was an incredible... Incredible lineup. Cats were coming out and freestyling on different beats. Like they were, Jay Perry was flipping beats during the songs. It was ill. Common doing I Used to Love Her. Then Freeway and, and Petey come out. And flip. It was incredible. And still half of it looks like nobody's doing anything. Like that's sort of the nature of shows these days to me is that a lot of people at these big shows just kind of stand there and stare. And smoke yeah. a blunt. And by the way, let me just say this. I'm still not used to the fact that you could be in Long Island and stand there smoking blunts in front of Nassau County Police. I'm still <laughs> not used to it. <laughs> well, as long as you're not doing it inside or while you're driving. No, no. They were doing it inside. No, I know. Shh. Oh. Snitch. Mm, Sorry. No, they don't, they don't actively pursue that anymore. No, I got to say, it's pretty amazing. Point? Like, what are you going to jail for? Listen, for all the terrible things about society... Let's appreciate one thing, man. It is nice to see people just comfortably light up a blunt and cops don't do anything. 
It's a great thing. It's but great. to Mets' point, I feel like people these days just don't react the same way unless you go to a specific Red and Meth show. Well, this is also why the shows like Summer Jam have gone away. This, did Gov Ball happen this year or was Governor's Ball? Oh, I don't think it, it didn't did. happen this year. I don't no, think it, it, would, it, would, it would be this weekend. It would be Summer Jam weekend. Mm. So mm. you got that, and then you you know you've heard stories about Coachella losing its pizzazz. And what about Rolling Loud? Is that still out here moving around? Yeah, yeah, Is yeah. It that's still loud? Rolling. Is it still yeah, loud? Yeah, still moving. It's not. It doesn't feel as loud as it did. But it's also focused on a particular audience, though. They just go straight super young, so. People who've never like been to a show X. before, they happy to be outside, maybe. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah, they, yeah. and they don't they don't care that the artists they're watching don't know how to perform and are just standing on stage mumbling. Well, well yeah, but also they just want to hear the hit songs. They want to hear their favorite song. They're not really there for the performance, right? They're there to 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 hear a hit song or two that they actually love, and that's it. But they don't want to actually see a performance. That the yeah. bar in hip hop's been low lowered to just. I just want to hear my favorite song. I don't actually have any interest in getting excited about anything beyond hearing my favorite song. Because what else is there on that stage? Unless you're the legends like Kane or EPMD, Rakim. You know what I mean? They were also and, and, good, and a lot of, And a lot of people go to shows for artists that have one or two songs. One song they might like, maybe yeah. two. And they don't even have to perform it. You could just play it and dance to your own record. Oh, Cash One point. says, Go Balls this coming weekend. Oh, it yeah. is? Oh, Who's on it? Cast One, um, I ain't heard nothing about it. They got uh, Post Malone, Raul uh, Alejandro, The Killers, 21 Savage, SZA, Peso Pluma, and a, and a whole bunch of other people. Peso? Ooh. Peso yeah. Pluma? I didn't hear anything about it. Yeah, no. it's quiet. It's in Queens next week. Queens. So it's wow. not at, it's not at uh, what was that? Uh, Roosevelt Island. Island? Or Rams no, they're Island. Doing, they're doing it at uh, Flushing Meadows Corona Park. Oh, they're doing it in the parking lot over there. Yeah, yeah. Yo, no, no, the Flushing Meadows Corona Park, I think, is in the actual park park. Not the City Field parking lot. It's not the City Field parking lot. No, no, that's in the, this is in the actual park. Got it. All right, well, there you go. There go another concert for you. Good lineup, too. Scissors always great live. Yep. You know what I mean? I was I hoping we were going to last night. I was hoping for Scissor last night. How you think you think, you think Scissor want to do that summer jam? I thought Doja Cat would maybe bring her out for their joint. Oh, that would have been a good look. That's that what I was. Yeah, that would have been so. Doja That's Cat brought out Ferg, Busta Rhymes, and Gunna. Yo, Gunna looks like a completely different person. No, he's in shape now. He looks great. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I had a conversation with him on Apple Music. He told me that jail, the jail thing, tightened him up, got him off a bunch of, uh, uh you know, got his eating habits together. <laughs> wow. Okay. And okay. also, and also, you know, he don't, you know, he ain't messing with that probably that lean anymore, and you know, probably eating different. Yo, I'll yeah. tell you guys. I'll tell you guys right now. One weekend off of alcohol. And I'm telling you, I, I come into work Monday morning. I don't have the same like puffiness in the top of my cheeks that I normally have when I come in on a Sunday on a Monday. Oh, look at you! There you go. It's, it's fast. Like the, the the getting that poison out of your body, you you will see some change very quickly. It's kind of crazy. It, drinking poison is bad for you guys. I don't know if you know this. I don't know if you know this. Drinking's bad for you. No, po- <laughs> literally inhaling, po- drinking poison in order to feel weird. It doesn't do good things for your body. Fermented fruits or vegetables of some sort that have gone into a a state that has been distilled into a intoxicant that you can digest isn't good for your liver and kidneys. You say, and how for whatever reason somehow makes your your body bloat or whatever. Yeah, mm. it's not good. Apparently, your body has a reaction to it. Apparently, what's oh, up, for sure, man? <laughs> no, I'm here, guys. Doctor, Powerful call stuff. me Doctor Rosenberg. Let's get rid of that Karen Wait. Rosenberg. Nah, dude. you <laughs> you claim the Karen. You know the Karen Rosenberg thing is sticking. No, especially now that you were successful in getting two I guys didn't kicked off Summer get Jam. Get them off of Summer Jam. Don't even had, kid like that, Ebro, because people are like, you see, you know, the, we the knew The double it. irony. One don't, last thing back to that. Don't. The double irony is the double irony is not only were they not removed by us from Summer Jam. Our team behind the scenes was actively fighting to get Chef G on Summer yes. Jam for a very long time. Like, really put in work to try to make it happen. And that never changed as yeah. a result of our silly conversation. Well, about no, the we Trump. were hoping they would still come out. We wanted right. that. We wanted Chef to still pop out. What are you talking about? That would have exactly. been fire. So, but listen. Listen, with the with the with the goings on, the Nassau PD felt like who runs that area out there in the UBS arena felt like having uh, 
someone like Chef G uh, at the show was problematic. But I don't know why they didn't have a problem with Sleepy Hollow, who also has some dealings. Maybe because his thing is more, uh, I don't know. I don't know either. Concluded. Chef G's thing is still an open situation. I mean, listen, it didn't stop Donald Trump from going to UFC on Saturday. That's my point. Donald but Trump. It, D- Donald Trump wasn't pre-promoted, was it? They would show Trump. up. Or they just no, pop but up. he shows up to every one now, basically. So he well, showed up to UFC 302, though. And that's another thing. Thirty-four. He's got thirty-four felony accounts. Felony counts, excuse me. Yes. And they still let him in the building last night when I brought him out at Summer Jam. <laughs> but he just didn't <laughs> want to come on stage. Yeah. Well, because, you know, y'all was hating. You and Laura Styles was hating. And he didn't feel like the crowd really got popping like that. When I announced him, it was kind of like some booze, a couple of cheers, kind of like, eh. Did you see that when he came out Saturday, A Boogie posted it on his Instagram and said, I did. Donald Trump coming out sturdy. Sturdy. Now, I will say this, because <laughs> people looked at it as like an endorsement by A Boogie. I went, let me go watch this story. And I will say... I don't know if it was an endorsement because I do know what he means. It was a sturdy entrance. No, I it give, was big. No, it was. I give. Listen, I do not like the guy. I will be casting my vote for Joe Biden come November. I think Donald Trump is bad for America in every way. His entrance was sturdy. I can say that. Not it was a that. sturdy <laughs> entrance. No, not only that, he's popular. What do you tell? He's entertaining. People True. don't know the difference, by the way, between entertaining and good for our country. They don't. They don't. Because if they were to ask me on a lie detector test, do you find Donald Trump entertaining? And I was like, no. It would go off. They'd be like, no, you do. You do find <laughs> You're him entertaining. You're a liar. You're right. A liar. No, he does a good stand-up speech. It's not as good as it used to be. His first tour was way better. True. You like you know, like some people like Raw better than Delirious. I don't like this version you of like Donald Trump's story. Twenty fifteen Donald Trump. Oh no, the first he tour was he broke. Scorching. Yo. No, no, even the um, even the one when he lost to Biden, that tour was better. Oh, after January six and all that. No, no, leading up like that, leading like you up. know, oh, okay, okay. In, in Jan- 2019, Yo, his promo, 20- his promo for January six was popping. No, you remember the joke he had about um, inject the inject bleach to get rid of COVID. Oh, during, oh, during coronavirus. No, he had joints, and then he, and then when he got coronavirus and drove through the streets in the car, looking out the tinted windows. No, he was that tour. He was on fire. This what? tour is not as good, but he's still entertaining. That just doesn't mean I'm going to vote for him, though. I just think he's entertaining. So you think it's a bad? You think it's bad to vote for someone who just does entertaining things to be the highest ranking executive in the country? Is what you're saying? You think that's a bad just, idea? People, please for, pay attention to policy. Look for what these people stand oh, for. What Laura. Laws. Please. Oh wait, wait. Yeah, you this is the same. This is the same lady that oh. that wanted. That, that expected people to actually understand the difference between Chef G not being on Summer Jam and Please. get the nuance that, well, Sexy Red's on Summer Jam and she's a Trump supporter. Why would Chef G just get kicked off? Just please. But now she wants people to go read about policy. <laughs> That's not happening. <laughs> Come yeah. on. Like, yo, how did it's, you make that? Please. Yo, It's called the popular vote for a reason. Yo, wow, you, you know what? Shawnee made a great point. It's you know so true. Saying?